And if you feel like going on a curly hair journey will make you happy, definitely do it. Hello. Like, if this is your first time here, I go by Zanji Does and I do hair videos and advice videos. And I took a brief pause because I'm just kind of thinking about how I'm going to talk about today's topic situation advice i'm gonna get really candid today like i'm not gonna hold anything back and i really want to be honest with you guys as viewers and really put you on game and make it clear to you what this journey entails so if you're interested in knowing about the truth and all the things people aren't telling you about curly hair journeys and what it's gonna take and you know this whole vent session please keep watching show some love subscribe let's get into it so let me be the first to tell you that i'm gonna say like a really unpopular opinion here but maintaining being able to maintain curly hair is really a luxury and kind of a privilege and i know you're probably like what do you mean by that i'm gonna explain myself right now you know curly hair and all of it is just kind of designed and made to look like it's this really easy thing all you need is water and you're good to go genetics and all your, you know you're good to go but the honest truth is that capitalism exists right so in order to get the best you have to pay a lot of money and it's very unfortunate and i've been trying my best to find dupes to get the best results sometimes you need to pay the best and i think it's really sad that you know we can't have formulas like pillow soft and have it be just six dollars if you will versus straightening hair serum be three bucks or something you know this is kind of a venting session too so i might go off in random tangents but to be quite frank like being able to maintain this lifestyle is really a privilege you have to have time to do it like you really have to squeeze it into your schedule starting a curly hair journey though it's beautiful and you will see a lot of results from it and stuff it is so hard to stay on track and to not let yourself go and not only that but to let social norms kind of drag you back in if you know what i mean if you're someone who for whatever reason you couldn't do a curly hair journey or if you felt kind of on those shackles of society where people weren't you felt like you didn't look like everyone else and that was something i felt um even in the curly hair community you know we can talk about that too how certain curls are deemed as more socially acceptable versus other curls and that really pisses me off um because i don't think it's fair i think that we should regard all curl types as fine socially acceptable work acceptable like which is just so dumb like i don't know but the truth is the truth of the matter is starting a curly hair lifestyle natural hair lifestyle is not gonna be easy it's gonna require a lot of research a lot of time to devote to figure out what your hair is all about what it likes your hair porosity accepting the genetics that you have and understanding that you sometimes can't look like other people that you want to look like like their hairstyles understanding that you know this is something silly that i used to do but i would try to get wigs that were closest to my curls and i could not do it it's really hard for me to do it for whatever reason understanding that your curls are valid and you know and not trying to make your curls look like someone else's like you have to really spend the time and sit down and just learn your curls you know so often in life like for women example for example we often like to sit and compare you know and i do it to myself too where i'm like okay if i lose 30 pounds maybe i'll be shaped like her or whatever and it's like really honestly you have to just sit down and just start you know if you really want to start this curly hair journey just start but understand it's not going to be easy and you cannot compare yourself to anyone this whole journey like you really cannot because you're going to be let down i don't even compare myself to my parents when it comes to my hair because i truly don't know what their hair type is they dye it often they do um perms and stuff like that so i have no idea what what is what so i really am my own blueprint when it comes to that and you know my siblings have different hair than me so really that's why i say and i emphasize don't compare another thing i recommend hold on 
Another thing to remember or to know is that you're going to waste a lot of money. And my biggest tip is any products you do find that don't work for you, just donate them to a friend. Gift them to a friend or donate them to, you know, Goodwill or anything like that if they accept it. I'm not sure if they even accept it. Do they? Probably not. I'm sorry if, if they don't. You're going to use a lot of money trying to figure out what kind of products work for your hair. It's not, it's really not simple. It's not going to be simple. It's not going to be easy. But on the plus side, it will be beautiful. You will be so happy with the results. And you will feel close to yourself. You'll feel so much closer to yourself. I remember for so long, you know, every time I have felt like, I felt like I had to straighten my hair. Like, that's how I felt. I didn't feel like, you know, this is me. Um, I just straighten my hair. That's just what I prefer. I felt like I had to straighten my hair because it even got to a point where once you get to heat damage, you feel like there's no other option. If you're in that pro in that place of heat damage is something you feel like is your end all be all, like this is what you have to take to the grave. Don't feel that way at all. Um, there are ways to manipulate curls and really make it count for what you have on your head don't get lost and don't feel alone in that journey of heat damage and wanting to cut it all off or avoiding that i also want to talk about the fact that it's so hard at least where i live to find a hair salon that will let me come in cut my ends cut whatever style and hydrate my curls and let me be a lot of salons where i live they extremely like very much so encourage you to do the whole thing you know but wash br wash blow dry flat iron straighten cut buy you know what i mean and i honestly think we should open more salons like that where you can just come in get a curly hair touch up and that's that you know and i know they exist out there but at least where i live i would love to in, in, engage in that experience and if you're able to and if you can afford it i would definitely recommend that as well if you are trying to be on your curly hair journey natural hair journey definitely having friends throughout this journey is very helpful it can be very lonely in this journey it could feel very taxing of course like obviously because it's expensive but also because you need opinions you need opinions you cannot see the back of your head like you know although you although you know yourself the most and the best people can see what works for you and what doesn't work for you as well you have to trust people's opinions and give people a chance to tell you what they see i think looking at instagram as youtubers and finding people that look like you that have your curl pattern will really really help you achieve much more goals than following someone that you wish you looked like or whose curls you want to have one day you know i think you have to be very realistic when starting a curly hair journey or a natural hair journey don't be afraid of the kitchen and the DIY projects you will get into and the messy hair stuff, the avocado mayo hair mask. It's going to happen and it's going to really help you. And if that's something you're like ooh about and disgusted by, it's okay. And honestly, it's a very, very cheap alternative and it's going to give you results. And I think you'll really appreciate it. Another thing is is the weight of trying to pursue a curly hair natural hair journey and the weight of people around you telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do that's where it gets hard and even when you have to go to work and you're dealing with your hair and trying to learn about your hair it can be very difficult because you're trying to go to work trying to feel your best look your best and you might not be at your best and i understand that and that's something that you have to understand when doing this new lifestyle is that there will be days where you won't be at your best or won't feel at your best but what you have to understand or think about is the end goal since you're on this journey you know what i mean a lot of days it, it was buns for me like just hair buns um gel slick backs and you know trying to work with my hair there were definitely days where i had the worst heat damage ever my curls would not curl i did not have time to straighten my hair and i had to face the facts you know yes my hair is heat damage and i'm working on it and as long as you know you're working on it don't feel any guilt or any remorse or any disgust for yourself because you're trying to better yourself definitely stand your ground in your journey and be confident about 
where you're headed in your curly hair journey and like i said don't let anyone tell you you should cut don't let anyone discourage you about your journey and make you feel like you know you've been on it so long you don't see results and oh it's not a look anymore like girl you look crazy like don't don't let the outside voices discourage you and i had to deal with that a lot and that's something you're gonna maybe deal with and people telling you that looks messy or you should perm your hair again or you should straighten it how you used to or you know girl you've been on that journey mad long like is it really gonna happen or people telling you you look better with straight hair so rude telling you you might look better with a certain hair dye like accept the compliments and just say that's nice but i prefer the journey i'm on you know and i know this video might be silly for some you know and i do feel a little silly making it but i know there's someone out there who probably needs that advice like i would have loved to watch a video like this where someone's telling me girl keep going on your hair journey do not worry about it just keep it going and stop freaking out about what people think of you or are saying of you i will put pictures on the screen right now of how bad my hair had gotten and i really it took me to having a conversation with a friend and realizing how far my hair has come to see that i do have a lot of people around me who really look up to the way i matured my hair if you will and really made something of nothing if you will and a lot of people i feel like respect me for that and they really look up to me to help them in that way and i don't mind helping and that's a big reason why i made not why i made this channel girl that's a big reason why i changed my content up to hair care and hairstyling natural hair and all that because you know i'm naturally a older sister so naturally i have this inclination to help the less fortunate no kidding. people that need help you know and that's just my job like that's my life job and since i was 10 so helping people has never been an issue for me and i don't mind dedicating my channel to helping people achieve something that might make them feel so confident so beautiful inside and so happy to wake up every day and look forward to doing it are there days where i literally do not want to deal with this thing on my head yes today is probably one of those days can you tell by the hairstyle no um my hair was just drying funny so i wanted to clip it back but ultimately you will encounter those heavy days where you're like i don't really want to do this right now i don't care for it and that's okay please feel comfortable knowing that you can have days like that and don't feel discouraged and if you are somebody who is not technically like what's not really appropriate for you to wear braids and other protective styles please research and see what works best for you because there are things out there for you and don't feel discouraged to speak to other women who or even get help from them who are not like you if you will i know there are white women out there who deal with curly hair issues and avoiding the whole curly hair fiasco if you will because of the fear of appropriation or having so many women around them just not really look like them which is i mean you see a lot of those uh, white women with curly hair they're they kind of they kind of have it figured out but not really and sometimes my heart pours out for them because i can feel like they probably want to figure it out but you know but that's not what the whole subject of today's video is it's more about hair confidence and understanding the difficulties that you might go through with curly hair and curly hair journey and pursuing that route and i do get discouraged when i see you know friends of mine peers who reach out to me and they want help and i try to help them and then they just kind of revert back to their always but i do not blame them because it gets hard and this is what i'm making this video for as well is i know how hard it gets how heavy it gets i've had a peer of mine in college say to me like bro you straighten your hair every day like and it was it got that bad and to the point where there was a moment where even if i try to wash my hair and make it curly it was wavy and it smelled burnt like my hair was burned and it's like why do that to yourself it's like why are you altering your beauty so much so that you're damaging you know because that's the truth i was damaging my hair and it's really a reality check about your habits and 
the way that you used to carry what you consider a beauty norm and of course by all means please if you're watching this and you feel as though straight hair is your beauty norm and you don't feel like anyone's manipulating into that that's completely okay i understand that this video might not be for you this video is for people who are ready to take that leap of faith and are ready to embark and embrace the beauty and the difficulties that is curly hair wearing that natural hair journey and like i said it's not going to be easy this video is also for people who are already in that journey or might be feeling discouraged in the process of doing so even with my big chop i'll tell you something so stupid i was like it was way before not way before like a little before i decided to do it i'll post a picture on the screen i was so compelled and thought that because i've dyed my hair my whole life not my whole life but like for a couple of years of my life that i didn't know what my real hair color was and that i had to get to the bottom of it and definitely big chopping would show me that Oh my gosh, I was so humbled. My hair is the same color it was before I cut it, okay? And you know what? Although some people might be like, oh my God, I wasted my time. I cut off all my hair for what? There are more pluses than negatives in this situation. And if you want more inspo or converse, like to hear a conversation about big chops and how I felt about it, how it made me feel, I will link the video down below because I did a whole video on that. But ultimately, it was kind of funny i'm not gonna lie because i was like girl okay like but um you know it reassured me it reassured me and definitely doing a big chop reassured me of what i already knew and i think that really warms my heart yeah like i didn't know if my hair was actually frizzy or if it was really damaged and things like that or it, you know how does certain hair grow on my head are there certain different curl patterns on my head or was that just the heat damage like joining this journey will really teach you the realities of what's on your head and i think that that's so beautiful and then the also ultimate plus is that if you have kids and that they end up with your hair um or just curly hair in general you having that knowledge under your belt will feel amazing for that little kid boy or girl or however they choose to identify it's gonna be a lifesaver and life-changing when they can go up to their parent and their parents able to help them and i feel like there was a disconnect with my parents or family or the woman in my family where i felt like we could not relate on hair because they were following the norm of european beauty if we're being honest and i just didn't like that after a while i did follow it because that's all i knew and when i say european beauty styles i refer to the straight hair look and I kind of just realized I don't really want that and I noticed how much time it took the hassle and I would much rather devote that time to being true and honest with what I have and not manipulating it anymore and making it seem like I look a different way like don't get me wrong I love my straight hair I love when it's straight it looks so good I think I rock to look really well but if anything why not devote that time into learning how to work what i have what was given to me by god or the universe whoever it was and if needed to if needed i know how to straighten my hair and manipulate that and or i can just get a wig it's wig culture like wigs are so normalized wigs are great and you know i think when you're deciding should i do it should i not look at your inner child and think you know what would you want you know as a kid a little kid comes up to me and says, I don't know if I want to start to really love my hair. What would you say? What would you say? Like, really? And that kind of makes me emotional thinking about it. But um, think about what you would say to that inner child. And you would just kind of, I would take that information. I even think of myself and my inner child, how I would take that information. And I'd be like, absolutely. Like, what? who's telling you not to? And why don't you want to? And, you know, but where I am now and how far I've come, I see, and I'm very proud of myself that I'm embracing what I have. And I think the last thing I could say is that the truth is about joining this journey is that you will feel it. You will feel so confident. And it's kind of like the gym. I'm not even gonna lie to you. It's like the gym where you put all this work every day, right? You put all this work every day, you go every day, and you do research whatever like if you're talking about hair and comparing it to the gym you go every day you dedicate your time to it and 
you know you don't see the results at first but you know you're trying really hard you're researching you're just trying out different proteins comparing that to products hair products and you know the results are coming you know the results are coming and slowly but surely you do see them you see that first curl or you see that new muscle you gained you know it could take a year it could take forever i thought after my big chop my hair would be up to the top of my like breasts no babes no way and that's fine and i took that i took that and i humbly say okay my hair does not grow as quick as i thought and now i know my hair growth rate like how much it grows in one year and i think that's really cool to know compared to that to the gym and being patient with the results and understanding every day would not be a good day it's completely fine and taking that as like the last thing to take from this video is that it will take time it'll be costly but it's an investment and i'm pro all of it obviously if that's not the tone you got from this video today i'm pro all of it i'm pro do it i'm always pro stay true to yourself and do what makes you happy and if you feel like going on a curly hair journey will make you happy definitely do it like don't even hold back don't take what strangers are telling you or peers personal let them self-reflect on you if that's what it is because that's it's not even what it is what it is like you're projecting insecurities onto me and take it as that and i hope that this video can help you and encourages you to step into that space or if you're already in that space to still stand in that space and be very confident in yourself and what you're doing and you know understanding that it's not gonna be easy and I'm, I'm a big sister in real life and I'll be your big sister on YouTube and I'll be honest with you I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you something's hard is easy when it's hard and that's the truth it's hard it's really hard and you have to put in that work you do I'm not gonna sit here and tell you it's a walk in the park and it's nothing serious it is a lot of work it is costly and some people give up because it's expensive and i understand that and please understand too if you ever want to reach out to me for very cheap options i do have a list for you i can help you with that don't feel any shame let me know in the comments below if you even want a video like that where i look for and i um recommend products that i've used that are very cheap because i know it's so expensive and that's just something that was really on my mind today that i want to vent about was how discouraging that could be as a whole with everything else that comes with doing this journey but i hope this video felt like a warm hug because that's what i want it to be and if this is your first time being here please make sure to show some love at least if you're not really interested in staying and don't want to subscribe but at least show some love leave a like or a comment and if you were interested and i you felt that hug through the screen please subscribe and like the video as well and i will accept that hug <laughs> i will feel the love through the screen and i really hope that this video resonated with someone that watched today thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one